Sim update number 3 has been released earlier this week. There are some changes to the EFB, right? The electronic flight bag. Which changes? In this video, we're gonna have a look at that. But first, let's roll the intro. So this is the Electronic Flyback and we're going to look at the changes which it received as part of sim update number 3. And to show those changes we need to go to the flight planner because that's where most changes are in. The first thing which I'm going to show you is how to increase the size. Normally you can do that via the settings in the EFB but you can now also do that using a single button which allows you to either set it to medium or even to large. Besides that, you can change the orientation using the single button, right, from the landscape to portrait. What do you prefer? That's what you can do. In addition to that, you see that there's now, uh, I would say, kind of stopwatch here, which you can control by using the uh, play and pause button or completely reset if you prefer that. Especially useful when flying VFR flights. The nice thing is that this one is also correlated with the one uh, over here, right? Here you can also start it and reset it. This will be in sync with the one which is shown on the main page of the electronic flight bag. Besides that, there is now a change in the uh, flight settings. So if we go to the settings, there is now a new airline called private. This one can be selected by you. If you fly, for example, private flight, then you can select this one, which makes it easier for you to say, identify yourself as a VFR flight and then also you can change this one of course to VFR if you want to plan a VFR flight. Now you might ask okay hey why are you showing VFR flight? Well I will show you right now. Let's assume that we're gonna fly from Rotterdam the Hague airport and we're gonna go to well where should we go to well Echo Hotel of a mic, Schiphol Airport, not a too long flight. And then we can say, okay, find a route using VFR. If we press that option, it will add all the, let's say, uh, departures, but also the procedures. And if you're lucky, it will also add the end route waypoints. In this case, it's a very short flight, so that's why they're not added. If we would now press the option uh, Sand to HC and Avionics, there's now a new pop up which makes you aware that you're flying a VFR pattern which uh, cannot be synchronized with the avionics system. So that's something which you need to keep in mind. This is changed in Flight Simulator 2024 SIM update number three. Besides that, the cruise altitude, remember prior to SIM update number three, it was always yellow. Even if you didn't complete your flight route, that's not changed because it will only show yellow if you completed your flight planning. The thing which is still not available, unfortunately, is the performance configuration, which you need to do yourself manually. Uh, I definitely hope that they will fix that in the future. That will at least have the default aircraft. We'll simply have it here, right? Because say, configuring it manually does make sense for me. In addition to that, the clip charts, which I was talking about a few seconds ago, now contains the airport facility card, which you can open by clicking on it, and then it will show you the airport facility card, in this case of Rotterdam the Hague Airport, uh, with some additional information. Uh, pretty nice, right? And also here you can uh, click this button to directly change the uh or the orientation, or you can change the size. So even within the uh, map view, you can change it. Uh, which is cool and if you don't like the uh, lightning you can also change it to dark mode this last functionality again i thought it wasn't there previously but maybe i missed it and the zoom buttons of course were already there uh, nothing new over here but still it's a cool functionality which you now can use the order of the uh, in this case arrivals but also the uh, the departures that's now in alphabetical order so they changed that uh, to make it say, easier to read uh, between brackets in addition to that they made a change to the fly plan specifically to the send button besides the vfr notification if you would hit the reset there's of course nothing in the fly plan you can see that the send button has been fully grayed out so it doesn't allow you to submit the flight which makes sense in my case all right 
Uh, that's, I would say, uh, why should you submit, I would say, an empty flight plan? doesn't make any sense. Besides that, we already discussed it, the configuration profile for the performance. According to Asobo, they made a change which now allows you uh, to uh, make persistent savings on the custom basic performance input in the performance pop-up per aircraft. And the performance pop-up per aircraft means, hey, I'm currently having the flight design CTSL selected, so I can change it over here. But if I would create a different performance profile, for example, for a Cessna, then it will also make sure that it will be, I would say, saved, so you don't have to recreate it. Again, I'm not 100% sure if it's, I would say, uh, possible to automatically add it. I didn't find a way, uh, but it would be really nice if they would add that in the future. But hey, that's me. Maybe there are people who like to say manually uh, edit. In addition to that, they made some changes to the way you open uh, the clip charts. Right, the clip charts, which I already showed you for the airports, you can now easily open them uh, by clicking on the title. But I also thought this was already there. But hey, maybe I was part of the beta, right? So maybe I'm a little bit to say, uh, well, <laughs> already uh, used to the new way. Another part they changed is the maximum cruise altitude. The maximum cruise altitude previously was always would say kind of challenging because in some cases it kept the VNAV constraints. And now they changed it so the maximum cruise altitude uh, restrictions for the airplane are applicable. So if I select the A320neo, then fly from uh, JFK to for example, uh, skip all and then find the route it will now make sure that it doesn't go above those altitudes which my uh, plane can't handle one thing which uh, i observed as already mentioned is that the efb becomes more sluggish if more waypoints are being added i'm not sure if you also observe that if you observe that then also add it uh, i think this is something new it wasn't prior to sim update number three but currently there, it looks like there are some let's say weird things going on uh but hopefully they fix it in the uh say near future and with that we're at the end of this video because there are a lot of fixes but again it's pretty hard to show them uh here these are the enhancements which they made uh which is pretty nice i would say i hope you like this video if you liked it then hit the like button and I hope to see you back pretty soon for some new videos about sim update number three, new functionality.